going to air missiles. Its job? To protect the fleet and escort the buccaneers on their bombing sorties. And it's about to be made ready for a combat air patrol now. Nothing one, start If necessary, a phantom can be scrambled in less than 10 minutes. Raised from below decks to the flight deck, wings unfolded and away she'll go. Of course, getting that 30 tons of metal airborne is easier said than done. On land, the Phantom requires 2,000 meters of runway. On board, we have only 250 meters of flight deck, which is why we use an immensely powerful catapult. This catapult extends the sea to its takeoff speed of 150 miles per hour in less than two seconds over a distance of about 75 meters. Without it? Well, let's just say we have one very wet phantom. The man in charge of loading the catapult is the flight deck officer, the FDO. He is standing to the front of the aircraft, and the two men under the aircraft are his flight deck engineers. They're nicknamed Badger, and you can see why, wearing a black and white waistcoat. There's so much noise on the flight deck that virtually the whole operation is carried out by a series of well-drilled hand signals, but it all runs like a well-oiled machine. It has to. The plane guard helicopter is in position. The battery pilot has received his briefing and been given his routine. In a few moments, you'll see the jet blast deflectors to the rear of the aircraft. 